you want, do you want to introduce him? Okay. Uh, Mike said, it's time to bring up the star. So, uh, Dickie Clune, back you come. Kidding. He was actually going to get up. I saw him go like that. Uh, here is the star. Obviously not looking for the big intro, which is okay. Scott Hellman is, you know, he's 20 years old. And four years ago, you were going to summer camp, right? And you were, you were telling me that you, uh, you didn't like it there. You played guitar all day. And here you are, two-time Juno, uh, double Juno nominee this past year. Really, the breakout star in this country. You're going to play a couple songs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I will. Uh, Thanks, Mike. And, and then uh, you'll, you'll say a few, two, a few words in between. So sure, yeah. um, let me say uh, thanks for coming out. Let's, uh, let's hear what you got. This thanks. is Scott Hellman. Thanks. How you guys doing? So um, when I left high school, um, I know I look like I'm still in high school, but... Uh, <laughs> when I left high school, a lot of my friends um, were going to university, and I wasn't. And that was very lonely for me because I, I didn't know what to do. I was, tr you know, trying to be a musician and working on a record. And um, I felt like I was the alien because I was doing something different. And then I found out that a lot of my friends were feeling lonely as well because they had no idea what they wanted to do. So at that time, I was writing my record, and I wrote this song, that, and it just made me feel better, and it's called Machine. Your heart is more than a machine pumping blood through your body, doing things you've never seen. And there words that come like arrows when they fly with mechanical precision, they can cut you up inside. But you're more than bolts Like this city's more than steel and stone Soon your heart is gonna overflow They push you back down, you get up again Circuits freeze and androids never dream And you're more than a machine Touch screens, fingertips, and pretty lights. We go through the scanner sideways, see you on the other side. And your flesh, all your skin, and all your bones carry all our generations with the future still unknown. But you're more than bolts Like this city's more than steel and stone As soon your heart is gonna overflow They push you back down, you get up again Circuits freeze and androids never dream And you're more than a Like this city's more than steel and stone As soon your heart is gonna Thank you. 
Thank you. Hey, Mike. How talented is this guy? Holy mackerel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I have to tell you, we flew over here together. We got in the plane. And I'm looking at him. He's telling me who he is, so I Google him. Google images. We're <laughs> yeah, looking at I, him. I got no problem. On a four-seater plane, by the way. Yeah, so, uh, but I, I didn't know. Very, very terrified. Yeah, I, I didn't know he was a big we'll dog like, like, like this. Half hour, 40 minutes. But we also had a chance to talk for a bit. And you're closer to the age of a lot yeah, of the kids here. Yeah. Tell them a little bit about some of your struggles here for a minute. Well, um, I remember, like, when I was a kid, like a young kid, I was a five or six, I have this vivid memory of like lying in bed and thinking to myself, do other people have this brain that I have? Like, why can I not stop thinking? And every night, for some reason, I just, I couldn't stop thinking. It was just like a constant thing that would happen. And um, I remember asking my mom and she said, I don't know. And, and that was it because we didn't really know what mental illness was and they didn't really... ADHD was never a part of their lives or it was never discussed. So um, I was also really big klutz and I was in the principal's office about four times a week because I couldn't focus in class. And then um, one day my parents took me to a, a psychiatrist and I remember running into my elementary school with a sheet of paper screaming, I'm ADHD, I'm ADHD. Because I felt like I'd finally figured out what was wrong with me. Um, and then things got a little harder in my life. My parents split up and, you know, just a lot of changes. I was going through puberty, whatever, whatever. And it just felt like um, this thing would never go away, this constant thinking. Um, and I'm going to be really corny here and quote one of my favorite movies, but there's a movie called Almost Famous. And in the movie, one of the characters says to another character, it's a great movie. Um, when you're whenever you're feeling down, just go to the record store and visit your friends. And she was talking about her favorite music and how... Um, artists and music can make you feel like you're connected or you feel better. And then I kind of realized that all of my favorite musicians had some form of mental illness and all of my heroes had some form of mental illness. And I felt really empowered and I was like, maybe it's not an illness and maybe I'm not a stranger. Maybe I'm, I'm awesome. So. So I think that is the answer, and I think instead of clapping for me, you guys should be clapping for yourselves because the only way that this problem can be solved or at least eased is if people get together and they decide to do something about it, and you guys have clearly done that, so give yourselves a huge round of applause. Anything else? He wants you to sing. Oh, you want me to sing? Sing. <laughs> well, Mike told me to sing, so I guess I well, gotta let's, sing. Let's, uh... Okay, we got yeah, any we can do that. Here? He says bungalow, so that's what's going to happen. We got so I, I wanted to play the song last because I wanted to end on a happy Hold note, on. and I think that that's what this is about, is that, you know, this doesn't have to be sad, and it can be beautiful, and um, we can celebrate our differences instead of being afraid of them. So I hope I helped you in some way, and if I didn't, you're amazing anyway. So thank you so much. I'm Scott Hellman. Cheers. This is a song about a pretty girl I saw, and her name. The song is called Bungalow. <laughs> Woo! There's a place I go where there's no heat, but it never gets cold, and that I know for sure. And there's a rusted gate and a chandelier and a plywood door and a mattress on the floor. She lays me down so low here under the stars And knowing it won't last just tears me apart This is how it goes, this is how it goes Baby, we're rolling Just a boat on the ocean Thank you Up in the sky 
got a 10 p.m. like a red head and a tabby cat and a tattoo she regrets. She's a carpenter with a book of poems, got another side that no one really knows. And watching through the window, you smile in the dark. You left them all hard. Yeah. This is how it goes. This is how it goes. Baby, we're rolling. Just a boat on the ocean. Oh, oh, up in the sky. Heaven's so close. Taking off your clothes. Taking off my clothes. Give me a moment. I don't care if you're still. Enough, don't be insecure as long as you kiss me when I walk through your window to your door and I'll know when the light is filled with cold. We'll be warm and nothing matters when the world is moving slow. I got you in my arms, now it's fine, don't feel low. This is how it goes, this is how it goes. Your sweet little bungalow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you, seriously, thank you very much. Thank you, Woodstock. Thank you. I got goosebumps, seriously. That was, that was so amazing. L let me talk to the two of you guys. Hold on, don't say anything. Uh, what about his hair? Whose hair, my hair? You know, no, you got the hair, dude. Yeah. Don't try to put <laughs> it on me.